Hi, my name is Art and welcome to another Bumpai video. And today we have another manga reading uh, video. And we're going to continue where we left off with uh, The Walking Man by Jiro Taniguchi. And for those who haven't seen the first episode yet, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a bit of manga and trying to identify all the cars in this manga. So I'm not going to read everything out loud, uh, even though I'm, I'm going to say like, hey, this story is about X, Y, and Z. Uh, I'm just going to identify cars that I found here. So to start off, we have uh, where we left off the previous episode, The Long Trail. That's a new uh, episode. And in this episode, we have on two pages further down, a Nissan Langley. And it's a Langley based on the M12 platform. And then right underneath that, we have uh, probably a Nissan Laurel C32 or a Nissan Bluebird U11 hardtop. And both of them look quite similar, but I'm not entirely sure which one of them it is. It looks a bit smaller to be a uh, Laurel, so I would say it's the Bluebird. Now, this. Uh, whole story just continues a slight bit and then we get into the next uh, episode Starry Starry Night and in this Starry Starry Night we have an unknown car on page 74 uh, I'm not entirely sure which one it is it's too far away uh, it's shaded in, uh, in in raster and it's difficult to see I would say maybe uh, one of those um, what's it called a Tico um, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, then on the next page, on uh, page 75, uh, at the front we have either a Mitsubishi Colt 1000 A20 or a Toyota Corona T20. And I'm not entirely sure which one it is, but it's definitely something from the 60s. And I also posted uh, a brochure of this, the very same Colt on my website and this really reminded me of that brochure so maybe it's based on a brochure um, we're going to skip a bit here uh, and then we get into the next chapter called alley and in the next chapter we have on page 81 a couple of cars this is a really rich uh, chapter on cars what a guy does he, he's just walking into uh, the old town of where he's living so the, the, there are really narrow streets and you can hardly get there by car so only small cars exist here uh, on the top panel we have a Suzuki carry or a Suzuki every van um, then uh, in the front we have a Suzuki Alto CA71 and then right behind that, that's probably, and I'm not entirely sure, a high ace H11 van. Continuing down on the page, we have uh, well, uh, probably a scooter by Piaggio uh, import. And then next to that, uh, we have a, a Daihatsu Charade G11. And I'm not entirely sure which, uh, well, what, what trim it is, but Unfortunately, it's not going to be the Tommaso trim, which was a, a very, very nice car. It's basically a souped-up version of the Daihatsu Charade. Uh, more on narrow streets. Uh, he's helping some old lady. And then here we have a Mazda MTV or Mitsubishi Chariot. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. It's a bit difficult. It's a, it, it really looks very un-Japanese, but I'm quite sure that it actually is a Japanese car. Okay, in the next uh, chapter called A Shattered Landscape, I didn't find any cars. It's a, it's a beautifully well-drawn chapter, but no cars in there. And then right at the beginning of A Blanket of Cherry Blossom, which is the next episode, we have a Toyota Tercel or Tercel AL20. It's a very old one. Um, then on the bottom left, we have what is probably, uh, and I'm not entirely sure, it's a, I think an, a Light Ace R20. And then right behind that, that's probably a Toyota Mark II X60. Um, on the bottom right 
uh, I, I cannot really say which car it is. It's not very well drawn and there's a lot of stuff in front of it. If you can identify it, uh, please let me know. Then on the page after that we have what is probably a Nissan Sunny B11 van or wagon. Um, I couldn't find any other car that looked similar to this one, but uh, uh, the C pillar doesn't look correct for the Sunny, but I couldn't find anything near that. If you know it, uh, let me know. Uh, continuing that very same chapter, there isn't that much to see. And then we have another chapter called Lost and Found. And in Lost and Found, I didn't find any cars either. Um, then we get to a chapter called Dawn, and that's, uh, wow, this one was perfect. This is another one of those mashups. So we have uh, uh, at the top uh, a taxi, which has the rear tail lights of uh, the Toyota Corona, um, definitely the Toyota Corona taxi. Um, the shape looks similar, but it doesn't uh, fit entirely. Then underneath that we have a dashboard. The dashboard is a very, very certain a Nissan Cedric or Gloria 430 interior. And maybe he got like multiple photos of taxis and then made a mashup. And then at the bottom we have another picture of uh, the very same taxi. And that is almost entirely certain a Toyota Crown S. 120 and that's because of the door handle. The door handle is quite specific. Um, so th this is really a mashup of three cars. Continuing uh, and we didn't find anything else in this chapter that we could identify. Uh, oh on page 113 there is a van but I'm not entirely sure which one it is. It, uh, it's quite difficult to see. It could be uh, another high ace but I'm not sure. Uh, there, there's stuff in front of it. Then on page 119 we have the next chapter called a read screen. Uh, it's made by, of read, not by reading. On uh, the next page 120 we have a couple of things we can identify. We have a Mitsubishi Cantor fourth generation. Uh, the car behind him, uh, I cannot really say which one it is because there's not enough detail. And then on the bottom we have uh, uh, definitely a Mark II van. Uh, that's uh, at least an X70, or at least that's, that's what I think it is. And then at the bottom we have a car that we cannot really identify. Uh, on page 122 we have a car that is also, well, not very detailed and I think it's a first generation Honda Civic, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, oh I'm getting uh, thirsty by seeing <laughs> those pictures. Okay, a nice hot bath is another chapter and in this one we have a couple of cars to identify. Uh, he walks down uh, the streets. Uh, looks up in the sky and yes, there are, are clouds forming. Um, at the bottom we have a Nissan Silvia S13. That's very, very clear that it is a Nissan S13. I think it's a case or a, uh, or a Q's. And the reason why I think it is one of those is because of the boot spoiler. Then in the, uh, well, in, in the background we have something looking similar to uh, a 200 SX or 180 SX, actually S13. We have a couple of mopeds, probably Honda Cups. And then on page 129 we have a Suzuki Carry van or every van. It's one of those uh, red vans again. Um, and then on 130 it starts to pour down and it's becoming more difficult to identify cars. The top one is Almost entirely certain, uh, the Hatsu Mira L200. Probably uh, Marty from Mighty Car Mods might have been very happy to see one. Um, on the middle section, we have a couple of cars that are also difficult to identify. Well, the Honda today is quite easy to identify. The car behind that, uh, 
I, I wouldn't know for sure. Then the bottom panel, that's a, a, a mini for sure, but it looks a bit large for a mini, but yeah, maybe it's drawn a bit uh, differently. And then the, the car next to that on the right for us, so the left for that mini, is probably a Bluebird U12, or a Sprinter E90, or a Sunny B13. And I can't tell entirely sure which one it is. Uh, my bet is the Sunny B13 because of the grill. On the next page, 131, uh, we have a Suzuki Avery van. I'm not entirely sure, Suzuki Carry van. Uh, then in the front, we have a Toyota High Ace van. And right behind that, that's probably a Nissan Laurel C32 hardtop. And that front is really. Um, well, it's probably uh, the C32 because of the, the headlights. And also, right below that, we probably have another Laurel. Then I'm going to skip the next page. It's probably not suitable for YouTube. And then we have uh, another chapter called Down at the Sea again. And then we can see a lot of cars and I cannot identify those. It's too small to actually identify them. But the panel underneath that has a bit more detail. And if we look at that one, I can see in the front, that's a Suzuki Sambar uh, truck. And it's quite distinctive uh, with uh, uh, the front headlights. And uh, right behind that, that's probably a Nissan Gloria or a Cedric 430. You can uh, identify that by the rear tail lights. Behind that, that's probably a carry, but I'm not entirely sure about that. And behind that, that's probably a, a carry or a high a, a, a light ace. You know? And right behind that, I think that's a Tecaman Skyline R30. So that's the facelifted uh, one with the uh, R in front, R in mask. Uh, down at the sea, it's, uh, yeah, it's about the sea, and there's a lot of walking. Um, quickly continuing. And right at the end, there is the dog. And then we have a chapter called 10 years later. And to be honest, there are no more cars in here. So that's it. That's this manga, The Walking Man by Jiro Taniguchi. And as you can see, it's really a beautifully well-drawn album. And whenever I have difficulty sleeping, I just start looking at those pictures and look at all the fine detail that is drawn in there and it's so well you have slow food this is slow manga it's nothing happens in this whole manga it's, it's really slow and of course i can sleep well after reading one or two chapters so yeah that's why it's besides my bat and uh, yeah i love it i love it I, i've uh, no regrets buying this book um so that's it for the walking man for the next episode of uh, manga reading i'm going to read the first chapter or first book of initially actually uh, i'm going to use the usdm manga because that's the one i actually own um, so if there are any differences between that one and the Japanese one, uh, yeah, that, that's tough luck. Um, yeah, that's it about uh, the manga reading and I uh, hope to see you next time with the initial D manga reading. Goodbye and have a nice day. Pa-pa-pa-pam-pe-kun-a-rex Pa-pa-pa-pam-pe-kun-a-rex